So it's time for another dividend income update and for the month of September, I received seven paychecks. So I'm gonna go over how my portfolio is doing right now, what were my buys and sells, who paid me those dividend checks and how much I got in total for the month of September. But before we begin, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dredd and I post personal finance and dividend investing videos and pretty much anything related to money. If that is the type of videos that you're looking for, then subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and also like and share this video. Now with that out of the way, let's get back to the main thing. So here we are on the dashboard of my Weeble. As you can see, my net account value is at $7,842.50 or an open PL or actually this is a loss of $1,457.61 or a 15.72% loss. I still have a cash balance of $28.03 and that is pretty much how this entire account is performing right now. Now let's take a look at my positions. I have 60 now, Avi, EPD, Store, ARC, OHI, FTS, JPM, NYCBO, Main, MMM or 3M, Stag, ABR, PDI, Good, and lastly, GNL. Let's take a look at the top five movers and the biggest losers for the month of September. So this has already been sorted out. Avi, EPD, and Store are the only ones who actually grew for this month. So as you can see here, Avi at $69.50, an increase of 11.25%, and then $38.52 for EPD or an 8.61% increase. Store is the final one here, $26.39, with 4.41% increase. Now, ARC and OHI here, you can consider them as one of the last ones, basically top four and top five movers for this cycle that we're looking at. ARC lost 52 cents here or a 0.23% decrease. OHI lost $1.55 or a 1.04% decrease. So you could say that those are the top five movers, I would say, but ARC and OHI didn't really move. It's only EPD, AVI, and then store, as you can see on my screen here. Now let's take a look at the biggest losers here. A lot of my stocks pretty much are in the red. So that is just how it's going to be because the market isn't recovering as of the moment. GNL is still a big loser here with $511.68 or a 38.61% decrease. Good is next when that one. $274.32 or a 26.03% decrease. PDI is next, $122.15 or a 16.69% decrease, followed by ABR at $119.50 or a 33.92% decrease. And then we got STAG here, $117 or a 10.80% decrease. It's kind of interesting to see that most of the stocks that have been growing in the past few months are now in the red. This is STAG right here. PDI was actually not that good, but it was still kind of like in the middle, you know. And even here, oh, one of my biggest kind of like movers for all time is now on the red, as you can see, $84.87 in loss. I only have like 15 shares for this one, but still, that is kind of like, you know, sucky. It's not a good place to be in. But there you go. Those are my positions for the month of September. So now let's take a look at my buys and sells for the month of September. And now, as you can see, these are my buys for the month of September. I really didn't sell anything, only bought. So store right here. Let's open it up. There you go. I bought five shares of store at the price of $26.60 on the 1st of September. And then lastly, this is a new one. Arc or Ares Capital, I bought 13 shares at $17.29 on the 29th of September. Basically, I had to like rush this in just so that I could actually buy it. There are some other stocks that I tried to buy but didn't really qualify or more like it didn't fill. I also considered buying Pembina Pipeline or PBA just so that I can add some more diversity and kind of like add into the same industry as EPD. But there you go. These are the only two stocks that I bought for the month of September. So now let's take a look at my dividends for the month of September. And here you go. These are the seven dividend paychecks that I received for last month. Fortis for the 1st of September, $1.63. And then I got PDI here on the same month, $6.84. It's followed by 3M on the 12th of September at $2.98. And then Main Street Capital on the 15th with $2.15. And by the way, there's actually two Main Street Capital checks here on the 27th as well with $1.00 totaling to $3.15. Now next here is O on the 15th, $3.71. And then I have Stag here on the 15th as well, $4.38. And then lastly, since I've already talked about Main Street Capital on the 27th, we got good here on the 30th at $6.27. Overall, my dividends for the month of September is $28.96. So those are my dividends for the month of September. It's not really that bad, you know, $28.96. Not as impressive as the last month, but still, you know, it's a pretty good 
kind of like dividends for the end of the quarter. So now let's take a look at my monthly, quarterly, and yearly comparisons. So for my monthly comparison here, August 2022, I received $55.66 compared to September, which was only at $20.96. That's down by $26.70. Now for my previous quarter, June 2022, I received $24.87, and that is an increase of $4.09 or $4.09. Now for my previous year, September 2021, I only received $18.28. Now compared to this year, September, $28.96, that's an increase of $10.71. And there you have it. Those are my monthly, quarterly, and yearly comparisons. Now let's talk about my year-to-date earnings. So for my year-to-date earnings, that is not including October, November, and December. So the numbers will vary when we get to the end of the year. So that is at $405.12. I have an average monthly dividend of $33.76 and then an average quarterly dividend of $101.28. And then finally, my trailing 12-month monthly average is now at $43.34. That is an increase of around $2 compared to last month's trailing 12-month monthly average of $41.61. So there you go. Those are my dividend numbers for the month of September. While September isn't as big as the last two updates, I still enjoy receiving dividends for these months. The increase compared to last quarter and last year is a welcome change and it is something that I'd like to see more often. Now, the addition of ARC or ARIS Capital is a good boost to the end of each quarter. This will help get the end of the quarter months to reach the same levels as the start and middle of the quarter months. This means that I might be adding more to ARC this October and I might look for other payers as well in the same schedule. Now, for October, I will be cautious in where I will put my fund. The market isn't recovering yet, so the best move for me would be to position myself with assets that are likely to go upwards after this downtrend. There are many cheap stocks right now and I would like to avoid getting into the trap of buying cheap stocks for the sake of buying cheap stocks. If I can increase my position on the good ones, then the better. I'll continue to monitor my portfolio from time to time like always and if there is a need, I will make adjustments to my strategy. And that is it for the video. It's a very short update for me for the month of September. If you have any questions in regards to my numbers, if you have any suggestions for stock picks as well let me know in the comments below i would love to hear your feedback if you like content just like this one make sure to subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you get notified when i upload new videos like and share the video as well comment like i said if you have any questions and if you are on instagram please add me there at daily dread so that we can chat collaborate and exchange some ideas thank you again so much for watching the entire video have an awesome and wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video bye